low-budget examples of tastelessness, featuring mindless scenes of sex and violence, but... But, as moviegoers became more sophisticated, audiences learned to look beneath the brainless buffoonery and recognize his films for the inspired works of art that they truly are. Already, already, where did he go? The Toxic Avenger has taken his rightful place in cinematic history alongside Citizen Kane and the Maltese Falcon. <laughs> Even as we speak, Poltergeist is the subject of intense academic study in colleges and asylums throughout the world. <laughs> You'll be happy to know I'm almost finished. And what of the man behind these intellectual masterworks? Can we ordinary mortals ever hope to understand <laughs> the workings of a mind that can probe beneath, beneath the human psyche with masterworks like Kabuki Man and Trobot and, and what the hell is it, Tromeo in Jews yet? <laughs> now we come to the rousing finale. What is it? And we must all think carefully about this. What is it that separates this man, this legend, this unstoppable creative force from the rest of us? Surely it can't be his bad taste in clothes. <laughs> Not alone. Or his turn-off personality. <laughs> The greatest directors have been trying to solve this riddle, hoping that they too might one day follow in the footsteps of this man whose achievements are the envy of the Spielbergs and Lucases of <laughs> I, I'm too choked up, I can say no more, but just as no words